Um, it looked like Korea was r really trying to adapt, and especially in the first half, they were shifting their formation. Um, from your point of view, what's your evaluation of how the team adapted to their play and worked on their problem solving? Yeah, to be fair, um, they did a very good job um, limiting our attack. I think for us it was how quick we could be and, you know, at times how patient we could be, um, finding the final passes and and getting getting the balls into the box and uh, looking for the right decision at the right time. And they got a lot of numbers back in the box, so how, however we could possibly break them down, and we kept going um, through the whole game and unfortunately just uh, couldn't get the, the final shot. So. All right, we do have a question on Zoom, a couple of them actually. Let's go to Jonathan Tannewald. Go ahead, JT. Thank you, Eric. Um, Lindsay, the, obviously this was a special night for you with the 100 caps. We also saw the news before the game that you're going to be next to wear the number 10 jersey with this program, and, and Carly had that post on Instagram showing the hands in the box. Uh, what does that mean to you, given, not least given how many positions you played over the years in your career, but what does it mean to you, and could you maybe tell us a little bit about your relationship with Carly? Um, I'm going to try my best not to cry again because I've cried about seven times today. Um, but to be perfectly honest, the meeting we had before the game, Carly presented the jersey to me with my name and and the number 10 um, on it. And I think it was probably one of the most special moments um, in my career. I think Carly Lloyd is truly one of the most incredible um women's national team players that has come through the system and over the past few years she's been such a role model for me and I've gotten closer and closer with her and gotten to learn so much from her and even in the Olympics um, table three that was <laughs> that was my meal table and just like having conversations with her and hearing her stories and what she's been through with this national team things that no one else knows um, is is really really cool um and i think those are the moments that last forever um for us and are kind of the most important um you know soccer aside the 100 caps aside carly doing that for me um and giving me the opportunity to wear her jersey i'm i'm so honored and i'm going to try to represent it in the best way i possibly can and think of her every time i put it on well said lynn oh sorry go ahead jonathan her longevity in the game, uh, you know, having as many caps as she does, having the most major tournament games played of any player in U.S. history. The, the evolution of international women's soccer, so we might not see something like that again, certainly not very often, especially with the U.S. And I wonder what, what, you know, what the longevity of her ability to do for so long is. Her mentality, I think. Um you see it every single day if you're if you're around her every single training session um, she's always in it and always wants to win always wants to be better um, always wants to get better does the stuff off the field um, you know the recovery the every single detail um, that's Carly Lloyd and she's had that mentality um, her whole career and I've seen it every single moment that I've been um, in the national team with her and you know, at first I thought she was a little bit of a crazy person, but um, now over time you just realize, like, that's Carly and that's what, you know, made her become the player that she is, and that's why she's been able to have 300 and, what? 15. 15 caps. I mean, it's it's insane. I I hope she doesn't retire. I think it's going to change. <laughs> nope, she already said. No, I think, I think we can pull it back. She in. said for a hot second she thought about it after she scored five goals, but then she said no. Um, yeah, good, Jonathan. Let's go to uh, Alex Ozzy. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, Lindsay. Um, I realize it, it might be hard to pick, but is there a play or a goal of Carly's that you look back on that you consider kind of the most memorable, and you can, whether or not it was when you were with the national team or not, can you describe it? Oh, my gosh. And there's been 134 of them. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Um... I guess like the first one that sticks in my mind right now is is actually in this past Olympics in our bronze medal game. I know there's so many Carly Lloyd goals that I could 
tell you that were <laughs> memorable, but I think just everything that we went through in the Olympics and, again, the relationship I had with Carly um, throughout this past year, it was really cool. Um, her first goal of of that game. Um, I think I won the ball off someone and, and fed her through. And to be honest, it was like one of the most difficult angles <laughs> to score from. And it's like a true finisher's uh, goal. And yeah, it, it, it brought tears to my eyes um, seeing it. And I, I knew that this was her possible last Olympics. Um, so her getting that goal in the bronze medal match, um, which I knew meant so much to her, you know, made me incredibly happy. Thanks, Alex. Let's go to Jeff Kasuf, also on Zoom. Go ahead. Hey, Lindsay. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe everyone can tell me. I don't know if, if um, there's been a case of a player wearing the nine and the ten um, in the program, but I you know that the nine was special as well for you. Uh, maybe the, getting the ten jersey is, is a fresh news, but you know if, if you have any insight on, on uh, if there's any jockeying for the number nine or what that looks like at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a secret for now. But yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks. Um, a couple more for Lynn's here. Uh, John Bobiak, go ahead, Mr. Denver. Actually, my bad. John, raise your hand one more time. Because um, I was not nimble on my fingers. Let's go to Amelia Hertel. Go ahead. Hi, Lindsay. Thanks for uh, taking the time tonight. I wanted to ask specifically about Sophia Smith. I mean, obviously, you play with her at Portland, but um, what has it been like for you to see her come onto this team as, as of late and just uh, continue to grow um, with this team overall? Um, I love Soph. She's like a little sister to me. Uh, well, I'm just like very happy to have her in Portland. Um, and coming into the national team, you know, it's, it's hard your first few camps and first few caps. Um, Tonight was was one of the first times I felt like she was one of her most confident um, moments, and that was really cool for me to see. I mean, she was driving at players, she was um, she was pressing, she was attacking, and you know she can be truly, truly so special. So um, I'm so proud of her, and I think she's going to be such a bright light in this team. Um, and she has so many so many years to. Um, to prove that and the potential in her is is amazing so really really proud of her let me go back to john and see if i can get him in there john go ahead thank you Aaron. yep uh, thank you uh lindsay uh, can you share some emotions on wearing the band captain's <laughs> band yeah i gotta be honest with you i don't think i've been a captain since like colorado rush youth <laughs> Club days. <laughs> Did you forget to do the coin toss? So I was like, well, I had the flag, oh, and I, was, I like started going to the, the starting eleven photo, and didn't I didn't know which was first. Um, no, it was uh, it was really cool. Um, I think it's such a, a special um, ritual we do with the national team, and you know, I was I was honored um, to be captain tonight. So um, I think. You see some of the captains that we've had on the women's national team. So um, getting to wear that tonight was, was a really special moment. Awesome. Go Thank ahead. You. Thank you, Aaron. Yep. Hey, Lindsay. Uh, Sean Gordon with Casey Scar. Um, just going back to this game real quick, uh, you know, you were talking earlier how Korea was, you know, they defended so well and got so tight. When you guys did break through, their goalkeeper was making great saves. You know, it was your header. She had a great one on uh, Carly. You just have any thoughts on how well Korea's goalkeeper played tonight to keep you guys out? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I got to be honest with you. I think our final product was poor, um, and I think we could have done better. My my header was crap, um, but uh, still credit to her. I think um, we pride ourselves on you know the amount of chances that we get and and finishing those chances. So I kind of look at our team and and say that. Um, there were some final passes that we could have gotten the end on, but yeah, she did. She did a great job today. I appreciate you all. Awesome, uh, Linz. Uh, do we have one more? We have one more. Go ahead, last one. Lindsay, you've talked a little bit about Carly, um, but tonight being honored for the 105th cap, but for passing 100, I'm kind of curious. In that moment, where where does your mind go when you think back on what you've been able to accomplish with the national team over 100 caps, and um, just what what were you thinking in that moment? 
Yeah, it was crazy. I was talking to my my sports psych before um, the game, and he told me to take every single moment in tonight, and uh, I did that. I did. <laughs> and it's been it's been an emotional day. And I spoke earlier, and I, you know, it's it's crazy when you think about a hundred caps because this team is so good. Um, the players on this team are so good. The standard for this team is so high. So to be able to play and work and come into camp um, and get the opportunity to play for the national team for 100 caps is is such an honor. Um, so that was what I thought about today was, you know, I've I worked so hard to get to this moment, be a consistent player in this national team. And, you know, I'm now I'm more of a vet and more of an older player, which I've never thought I was going to say. Um, so what's next? And I think that was like my change in mindset tonight was like, this is such an amazing accomplishment and I'm very proud of myself, but it's never going to stop here. And I think those are wise words from Carly as well. <laughs> it never stops. The work never stops. And, um, you know, that's, that's where we turn the page and, and keep going forward. Well said, Lynn. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you guys. Thanks everyone on Zoom and in the room.